Hello Twin Flames and welcome to this reading. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And earlier today when we used the daily cards to connect with the question, we got the three card spread card coming out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a reading based on the past, the present and the future. I'm going to use a few decks of cards to do this. So I'm going to use the Divine Masculine Ego Struggles and Healing by our soul sister Sandra. I'm also going to bring in the Everyday Witch Tarot and I'm going to bring in the Body Tarot to really connect with things in the body as well. So let's see what we need to know. So thank you angels. Can we get an energy please around the past? An energy around the past. And remember the past could be a moment ago. You know, the moment the past isn't like a year ago, 10 years ago. It could well be. But for some of you, it could be what you're leaving behind now. The energy of the now, the present moment. The energy of the now, the present moment. For the masculines and for the feminine here. And the energy around the future. The energy around the future. What do we need to know? Thank you, angels. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing with the body tarot. So the energy around the past, please, angels. A card around the past, there it is. An energy around the, the now, the present moment. An energy around the present moment, there it is. And the energy around the, the future. There we go, wow. So we've got clear cards coming out. And then we're going to use the Everyday Witch Tarot. That jumps out for the past, amazing. Energy around the now, what do we need to know for the now? Straight out on the floor there. And the energy around the future. What do we need to know for the future? Thank you, angels. So let me just pick this card up off the floor. What I'm also being guided to do is use another deck. So I'm going to bring in the answers from above. So an energy around the past. Energy around the past. These cards jumped out as well, but I feel these are more clarifying cards. I'm going to put them to one side. Energy around the now. There we go. And energy around the future. Energy around the future. I'm after one clear card. There it is. So anything else that's sticking out. I've got quite a few cards sticking out here and jumping out before. I'm going to use as clarifiers at the end. So we've got some extra meshes here at the end of the reading. So let's start with the past then. Okay. Let's start with the past. So in the past, we've got addictions. So there may have been addictions in the past and you can be addicted to each other. You can be addicted to the communication, the feeling, the power of the love. But maybe in the past, you know, you may be thinking about something you were addicted to. So something that could have been something you did. So not necessarily an addiction, but a habit. You know, a constant habit that you were doing daily or something that was going on within you. Maybe it was toxic to you and you didn't want to do that behavior anymore. And now you are releasing that. So I feel for some of you, there's addictions or cycles or behaviors or certain things that have controlled you for a long time that you are now releasing. And this relates to both masculine and feminine. And this could be something affecting your body as well as your mind. You know, so this could actually be a, an addiction like drinking alcohol or smoking cigarettes or something like that. Or it could be a behavior doing a certain thing, you know, that you feel is controlling to you. And that's being released. So the message says addictions that I need to release. Things that I've always known needed to go. Working on healing myself and being free of these addictions. So I'm reading it that way because this is now in the past. So this is, you'd no longer have these addictions. These addictions are now being released to bring in power. What's going into the past is stagnation. Look at this. For a water. Things not being as they seem, obviously, see through the illusion. But stagnation blocks, obstacles, delays. It's all going into the past. So the four of water is that energy where we feel bored or frustrated or angry or depressed or miserable. These things are going into the past so that you can move forward together. So what your twin is saying to you here is, I am going to open my heart to you. I want to open up my heart to you. What's going in the past? What I'm connecting with this is the island energy. You know, the masculine's having time to themselves to process and think and work things out. And we've also got the nine of cups, which is a sign of your dreams coming true. But what I'm seeing is there's no need anymore to spend deep amounts of time meditating and asking for what you want and dreaming about it because it's going to come into fruition. Raise your vibration. So you've raised your vibration and it's pushed away any stagnation, any negativity, 
any fear. So what I'm really connecting with here is this is a good thing because anything that was controlling to you or controlling you is now going into the past. So the energy of the now, obviously got the three card spread there, you're dealing with fears. So ego fears are coming up to the surface now to be healed, which is a good thing because the wound is where the light goes in. So fear has significantly been holding you both back from coming forward your own fear. So you might think, well, I'm not in fear over anything, but you may be in fear of them reaching out to you, or maybe you're uncertain about the future, you don't know what's going on, or there could be something else going on. So fear has been holding this back, and fear has been holding them from coming to you, and from them being vulnerable with you, and open, you know, openly communicating with you, but they are now making baby steps. So it says now, what's the energy of the now? I am now making baby steps when it comes to you moving forward and facing my fears. And we've got generosity. So in the moment, be generous, be of service, work on service, give, be gentle with yourself, be in the energy of love, not fear. And also the energy around decisions. And we face our fears to make decisions. It's motorbike speeding there, speed things speeding up, also clearing the air. So the energy of the now is to clear the air. And that's what this person is doing. You see that person there is taking back power to clear the air because there's all these birds flying around. So there could be some confusion going on. So she's saying, I'm going to take back my power right now and make a decision. I want to clear the air. So I feel this energy of the now, obviously it's in this present moment, but this could be what's happening between now and September. And we're going to connect with the future energy, which will bring in more messages about this. So the answer right now is to be generous, to be giving, loving, work on sharing yourself. And that will release fear. So the energy coming in around the future, I feel this is releasing things that you may be trapped in. You know, so you feel trapped in this life that you're living. This is the masculine saying to you. I feel trapped in this life that I'm living. Now, remember, the future is a minute from now, a second from now. So you might think, oh, he's going to remain trapped in his situation in 10 years. That's not the, the message. The message is whatever he's trapped in, he's working on freeing himself. I feel trapped in my head, my mind and my thoughts. And I'm working on freeing myself from it all to find peace in my life. So I can also find my way to where I'm meant to be. So what the future energy is, finding their way to where they are meant to be. And that's with you. And that's what you're doing. Finding peace in their mind and heart. Finding peace in life. And what's also coming is a windfall. So a windfall is about receiving abundance. It's about receiving everything you need. It's about feeling grateful. It's about blessings ahead. A windfall could be a promotion. It could be more money coming to you. Opportunities, success. And also a plan. Your masculine is pointing out there that there is a plan. There's a plan coming into place. And you know this through your own power. And you've got a fire dragon there assisting you as well, helping you. So feminines, you were going to receive something. Look at you there. You've got flowers in your arm. So, you know, what they actually give me here is, you know, when the leading lady goes on stage and does a bow and she receives flowers, that's receiving something for what you've done and I feel you're receiving rewards and a windfall for all the work you've done and this dragon is showing that to you so things are being blasted away to bring you forward and you're also receiving messages and music so you know moving forward they're giving me fear whenever you go into any fear I feel you're going to be shown a message and music so before you even go into the clarifiers here let's bring in an energy through the music deck so what messages are you currently receiving in music? And we've had this coming up over and over again lately. You know, messages coming through in music. So the messages coming through are, we've got have patience with the timing of your journey because there's no need to rush what's meant to be. So your journey is meant to be. It's no good trying to fight or deny the connection as it's truly meant to be and you will end up together in time. So trust in the power of divine timing. So the message is you're going to end up together, but you have to trust in that. Have patience and be calm and understanding. Be flexible and adaptable to change. Patience is needed right now. So the big message coming through here is to have patience. 
If you feel you're constantly waiting, reward yourself for how far you've come and know it will be worth it. While you're waiting, God is always working. And every day their love for you gets deeper and stronger. The love grows with time. It gets stronger and more powerful as each day passes. Be still and know that your twin flame is falling even deeper in love with you at this very moment. The delays are always necessary so that you align with each other, so you come together at the right time. And if you're struggling with that, ask Archangel Michael to shield you. It will happen at the right time. So the angels are asking you to release ego fears around the when and know it will happen at the right time. All you have to do is believe. Look at this. Believe. Look at this. Union is possible for you in this lifetime. So raise your vibration. This is not the end. So for those of you thinking it's over, he's never going to message me. He doesn't love me. It's not the end. Union is possible for you. And those solutions you've been asking for are coming. There is a blessing on the way you can't yet see. So all you have to do is pray and ask the angels for help because they are listening. They are listening. You are being helped to move forward to where you belong. So trust the love. Big message coming through for you. Solutions are coming. It's not the end. Union is possible. And that is always worth the wait. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.